Hello everybody and welcome to Mundoid, your one-stop shop for all things Project Zomboid. And this week, is it a burn? Is it a plane? They never answer the question. So, moving on. Uh, it is actually, oh no, they do, it's Supromain. Supromain, you get it? Because his name's Romain. Super, Supermain. All right, let's get down to the blog. So, uh, this is going to be a shorter Mundoid for me personally because this is actually stuff that I've discussed pretty heavily in the past when they actually brought up the changes that would be coming with Build 28. And this blog particularly focuses on the big changes coming to how guns work and the aiming skill and all that good stuff. As it stands now, as we've discussed, the guns themselves, particularly the shotgun, is a bit overpowered, right? The shots pierce, things just kind of fall apart and die, and it's just very, very easy to clear things out with a shotgun once you have it and you have enough ammo to do it. That is looking to be changed in the next update. Particularly, Romain is on it, and he's been working on it for a long time, and it looks like things are going to be changing pretty significantly. In fact, there's a video here that I suggest you come and watch if you have the opportunity to. If you don't, you can actually come and they actually do a video transcript of the whole thing. I'm going to try and give you the, the quick, dirty version. Uh, it's going to lack a lot of the details that the videos may or may not have, um, but I'm going to try and bring and, and, and quickly discuss what's being changed. So... One of the big problems with the current build of the game is that I, is that the aim skill, rather, is really kind of useless. It, it, it helps a little bit, but generally speaking, it doesn't help that much. What is going to happen with build 28 is that the aim skill is going to basically affect everything with all the guns. If you have a high aim skill, you're going to want to use a pistol more than a shotgun because your pistol is going to be super accurate. With a high aim skill, your character is not going to be as shaky. He's going to have a lot of practice. He's going to be able to hit targets from further away with higher accuracy. It's just those, those types of guns, including the hunting rifle with a higher aim skill is going to allow you as the player to really work on, uh, focus rather on just shooting one zombie at a time from long distance and allowed you to use other guns as opposed to just using the shotgun. While, say, you have a shotgun, you might want to use a shotgun for lower aim skill because you don't have to be as accurate. Chances are zombies are not going to die right away because the way shotguns work, it's a spread shot, right? It's not a very, it's exactly accurate. You might get one or two kills in a, in a shot, but generally speaking, it's not going to be able to kill a wave after wave after wave of zombies. It will, however, potentially slow them down. So the shotgun's going to get nerfed in that manner because right now shotguns just hit like you shoot it and you can watch as a bunch of zombies fall over. That's not how it's going to work anymore. It's going to basically just be as a shotgun should work against zombies, turning them into crawlers. Uh, and, and as we get more detailed uh, damaging systems and mechanics within the game, it's going to like tear off limbs and all this stuff. But for now, the way it's going to work is just going to be kind of this close your eyes, shoot and hope you hit things. At the same time, it's also not going to be piercing anymore. So you're not going to hit all the zombies in front of you and behind those zombies. So you won't actually have the ability to just wipe through an entire horde really, really quickly. Guns are also going to come with their own inherent stats. So certain guns are going to be more accurate than other guns because, hey, that's how they're built to be. While other guns are going to hit harder than other guns because, hey, that's how they're meant to be with the types of ammunition that they use, this, that, and the other. And then a higher aim skill is going to dramatically affect that. Uh, again, there's a lot more detail here, and you can talk and look into all the detail, um, you know, as it goes. In fact, they show the player shooting like 20 to 30 seconds with the zombie uh, with a hunting rifle and how in this player has a, an aiming skill of 5 and how that's going to affect you using something like a hunting rifle. Again, is a lot, a lot, a lot of details. And with the... with. Uh, version 28 coming out as well, you're going to be seeing a lot of other things uh, happening too. Um, a lot of other additions. If we actually swing down here, you can actually see they do talk a little bit about uh, being able to write notes with a pencil and a uh, uh, paper. So if you're playing, if you're one of those people who heavily play the multiplayer, you can actually write notes and stuff. Uh, for me, that'll probably be good for memory stuff. So if I've looted a house and I don't want to forget I've looted a house, I can just drop down a note and say I've looted it. Other things like painting and crafting, all kinds of stuff is just going to be happening uh, with the upcoming builds and it's really exciting to see some of these details swing in uh, if you were looking for npc news you're greedy a eh? because last week was lots of npc news npc news but basically they say here lemmy is working hard on npcs 
And that's it. I'm going to leave the Mundoid at that. There's a lot of stuff I could discuss. And if you want more detailed stuff, go back a few weeks. I talk about them in the Mundoids. But if you want really detailed stuff, go watch the video. Come read the blog. That's the best way to get that detailed information. I'm here for the quick and dirty explanation. So uh, check it out. ProjectZomboid.com. Click on the blog link and go ahead and read the article that they posted up. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it. If you did and you're one of those once-a-weekers, I will see you next week. If you're a regular, I will see you later today. And as always, I will see all of you next time. Bye-bye.